Load my data, mighty PS3. Thank you. Where is he? Oof. I was just looking at my old installations, wolf costumes, and they seem to. Well, there's a couple things. Let's see. How would I get to those? Um, actually, it's probably just. Who's that? Whoa, totally forgot about that. We have to come back to that. Uh, we've got some really cool helmets. So, yeah, there's there's uh, old Frankenstein. I forgot there were different colors of Frankenstein. There's a pink Frankenstein. Um, but uh, the Frankenstein thing is cool. Uh, yeah, he's got some crazy stuff. But I'm not going to do Frankenstein because that's, you know, it's kind of over time. Unless I can find some original way to incorporate it into something. But otherwise, like, I don't need to be the Frankenstein. There's a pretty decent Frankenstein in one of the uh, special sparring CPU teams. Um, and what was the other overdone one? Oh yeah, there's a, you can do a pretty decent Hulk Hogan. That hair is in here. I guess it's probably this thing. Let's see how you can make a Hulk Hogan out of this kind of business. So, uh, but I don't need to do that stuff. So, other than those, my costumes, I think I had three variants of what was essentially... <laughs> this new hairline is out of control. Uh, was essentially a uh, dude, shirtless dude in leather pants and a porn stash, which I think is pretty great. So, that's probably going to be what I end up doing here. But... Uh, I will just look through what he has and see if I can come up with something else. Now there's obviously a lot of hat and hair stuff, but it's easier to really easier to whittle things down by looking through the shirts. Um, so this is just armbands, and you can't get rid of the armbands. Whoa, those are shiny. I wish you could get rid of, well, elbow pads, I guess we're calling them. I wish you could get rid of those. There's got to be one where you can't. So let's keep looking. Now what do we got going on? More elbow pads. Now they're braces. And we can't get rid of those. And then a loincloth. So the loincloth is part of the shirt. But not really into the loincloth at the moment. No offense to those who are, I hope. So, what else do we got? Huh. Ah, those are on the upper arm. It's funny because the other armbands were down here on lower body, but then we got some things. I mean, how do they decide? Uh, it's crazy. I noticed that Wolf's musculature is pretty weird. Like, his shoulder definition is terrible. It just kind of becomes a pile of goo in there. Well, you know, maybe he's got his own workout routine. Who, who am I to say? Now, you can just remove these. Okay, so here's where you can just get naked wolf. So that's good. This is tight. What? See? Yes. Yeah, it says it right down there in the picture. So, like, kind of fun. Oh, they're sort of cute. 
kind of wonder, like, do things like this really stay on? Like, if you flexed, it would totally... I mean, stuff wouldn't work. This can't be practical. This can't actually work in real life. Can it? No, it can't. Come on. Let's get it. There we go. Uh, okay. Got the old tassels. Leather things. Cyber robot? I haven't seen any cyber wolves. I don't think. I'm not gonna get my hopes up yet. Oh look, there's a mouth on the, on the palm of these gloves. <coughs> ah, wolf paws, okay. We got claws and you can go all wolf man with these. Sort of tiger look. Does he have a wolf mask? And they get some crazy stuff. I totally forgot about this. More cyberpunk? I'm not sure how these are cyberpunk exactly. It just looks kind of like a bad texture. Well, they're shiny on top, so there you go. You can really see from this angle. That cyber armor. Holy smokes. I wonder if that's played with Type C or is it. Dang. I mean, that's pretty goofy too with the floating shoulder pads and all, but still. Cyber Wolf, I'm suddenly kind of excited. Um. Sir. Like, I don't even try to make these look realistic, or you know, I mean, it, wouldn't, it couldn't be that equally vivid everywhere. I like the chest here, that's good. I mean, that looks more like an actual tattoo, you know, kind of faded a little. You can just have a pure black, just like a hole in the, in the universe. This thing is like glow in the dark almost. Whoa. It's a really unusual front item. It's pretty cool. Ah, yes. A little Christmas wreath they gave everybody. And this thing. What was the. Hardcore Sega, that means something to me, maybe. Man, more. So you go full on, like, just wrap yourself in this giant, horribly vivid tattoo. That's weird. Or you just go with the totem pole. I 
I guess Wolf is Native American. I mean, I don't know. I haven't read up on him. I should do that. He's Canadian or something, right? Silly looking sword. Now I do know that there's a, there's a CPU in Special Sparring who has, I think it's this microphone, and when he wins, he can do a custom wind pose with it where he sets the mic, puts the microphone down and, and speaks into it and basically disses you on the mic. It's pretty great. The, that's for the Frankenstein look, of course. Now, you can probably, yeah, remove the face paint, so that's what you would do for Frankenstein. You just go full crazy skull face. Franklin and Stein. This has the cyber armor. No. Nope. Maybe that is just type C. So what's this one? This one is big robe. Again, the big robes aren't really my deal. That is that is some bright red. melted a bowling ball all over his coat. Look. Oh man, that texture kind of makes me dizzy when it wraps around down there. Oh. I guess that's one way to get an advantage on your opponent. <laughs> Give them this dizziest, dizziest? This uh, dizzying outfit. Pretty fancy. Just gotta get people running for the fire alarm with that baby. So I guess that's that one. I kinda wonder if there was like secret stuff. These. Oh, so this one has the cyber armor. It has all those fancy armbands. Oh, 
So A, B, and C have cyber armor. does not have cyber armor. Oh yeah, the football thing. The football outfit's pretty good. I mean, like, look at that. That's a good, good shoulder pads, good texture. Cyber armor, except uh, is it D or E? Is D. All right. Well, yeah. I think the only one out of these I am rem really interested in is the, uh, the Type C. in wearing a winged helmet. I mean, it was a gold medal in metallurgy. How does this stay on? with this at some point. Jeez. Well, you can definitely hurt yourself with that one. Uh, 
I really don't like the face paint, so I don't really have any options here. That's uh, interesting. A Batman. as much as the next guy. Long bands I'm just not convinced work. They just they just I just don't see how that works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and be obstinate. Ah oh. oh, you can't have chest hair and cyber armor? Come on. I may have to make two wolf costumes. <laughs> we got a black belt. Is there some pretty big belts for a big dude? I actually like the cyberpunk belt. Like, it's actually a much nicer looking belt. Job. All these belts like kind of looks like we don't really know how belt loops work, or maybe it's just the only way they could do it to have it overlap correctly. But it just looks a little you know, unconvincing as far as the belt loops go. Like the belt itself is sticking out. Way too much, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a nice texture, at least. Jeez, what is this nonsense? Oh. Now there's also the glowing axe. Yeah, I'm the... Oh. Pretty good for a caveman look. How about that? How about that? Because that's where you carry your football. Looking pineapples there. I guess they're a little cartoonish looking, maybe, but. That doesn't trade right. Uh, we got the wolf, yeah. Here's the animation problem of his feet are slightly dipping into the floor. That doesn't look good. Well, don't look at that. Let's pretend that isn't happening. Oops. 
So it must be something to do with the tassels. Maybe. Well. Now those are some nice looking boots. That's not the greatest color job there. shorts you say so These are pretty nice actually wait black and dark okay so when they say black they actually mean gray when they say dark they mean black that's good to know some pretty cool jeans really is going on there. Yeesh. Oh, this is a Canadian theme. Kind of subtle, perhaps. Pretty good looking jeans. Okay, same basic texture. No, like, like, why do these have this extra seam? type of way or I'll actually like an astronaut or something. And he has any other things that would make an astronaut outfit though. Now those are pretty far out. He even have his name on him. Frankenstein pants. Ugh. 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 He's got a big spider over his 
cod piece or face hugger or something. Something's gone horribly wrong, basically. Hmm. He doesn't have like a jacket to go with this, does he? He may just be forgetting. Because a jacket would be cool. Well, wait a second. Shorts have draping problems in this game in general. Now these pants, or the porn stash style, but they also just look good. Just pretty good looking pants. Maybe a few extra wrinkles in them that I wouldn't have put in there, but Good looking pants. Solid pants. And the black is actually fairly dark. Now it isn't dark as we have come to know it, but it is a, it is a solid, solid look. The red one is pretty decent. That is a little on the barf colored side. It's alright actually. So white, reddish is okay. That's alright. He's got a lot of kind of strange pants. He's got some decent jeans. He's got Astronaut pants. But really, if you're just going for like action pants, action maybe. See, now you get into the. Yeah, the well, I'm just. I'm beside myself right now. Uh, like Sarah has some pants where they put these weird wrinkles on them, and it's just well, I didn't need to didn't need to overdo the wrinkles there. Also, again, we can see the wolf has no has no ass. It's just too bad. It's, it's, it's kind of a tragedy. Okay. Weird, like, seems like there's a bit of a lost opportunity here. Um, like, they really went all out with the, you know, Native American-like headdresses, but that's about it. The other stuff is just generic stuff that all the characters have. But he does have some cool hats. So. Whoa. I mean, the ponytail's alright. Nothing really wrong there. Got long ponytail? It's just. Slightly well, I guess it's just the same hairstyle. They just started naming it long when they got to different colors. Well, I'm confused. I actually kinda like the blue. The white's pretty cool with this super dark tan. That one, one of these have, these kind of things have just weird sort of draping problems. But other than that, it's alright. Wolf has really chiseled face. Whoa. 
Oh Lord Elrond, you've been working out, big fella. That's some pretty cool hair. Wolf does have like a receding chin. It's kind of strange, but uh, does have a weirdly small chin. I'm not really one to speak myself in that department. Superman. That is pretty, like how do you even get that on your head? Yeah, it's, it looks not comfortable. That is super, super firmed. Whoa, it looks like a pretty boy, but a weirdly focused, I don't know, it's kind of creepy. It's gonna get me. Oh, he looks like a, I don't know, like a dude from an advanced, you know, like super perfected human race or something. <laughs> Some sort of kind of cheesy old Star Trek episode or something. Why am I dwelling so much on this? I need to get a move on. Super shiny green. He has some good hairdos. Like, a lot of the female characters would just kill for her hair. This many good hair options. Well, that's good. Looking pop, or it's kind of funny. What is going on there? It's just a weird, ugh, some kind of lighting quirk. like just a plastic piece has been fitted on top of his head which could be fun if that's what you're going for um ugh. okay that's not that's not great oh my gosh now here's the crazy sci-fi look oh dear I mean, they went for it. Wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. Yeah, Wolf was eating his head. Jeez, look at that color. These type of real teased up colors have some kind of fringy Z fighting or Z shading issues. You know what I mean? I 
think this is the one that would go good with that uh, stone hammer on the belt. It's a little, again, I don't know how you would get that actually. How do you get that thing on? It's way too tight. Like it just formed on his head over millions of years. Be good looking for plot on that. Like every character should have some kind of helmet. That looks that good. Again with the weird hair. Ah. Wow, he really he put a lot of detail into that. It looks really good. I mean, it looks gross. It looks super gross, but that's because it looks so good. I mean, this looks like we're in Resident Evil now or something. We have Frankenstein. They did, did a good job with the Frankenstein. I'm not sure about the hair colors. Any silver? We got a really good looking cowboy hat. Most of the characters, they just didn't get the fit of the cowboy hats right at all. A lot of them are just like huge. This one is actually probably a little too small, but it still looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it does look small because he's such a big guy, I guess. He's a, more like a 12 gallon hat. Wow, there we go. That is super creepy. That looks really good though. Like, look at the detail on the scalp. I wish they didn't call these skinheads exactly. That, that kind of creeps me out. This eating hair is so creepy too. Can make all these weird ubermensch elder types for a sci-fi show and then all the characters have their pharaoh heads what's this holy smokes oh man totally cyber armor this baby up he's a terminator i totally forgot about this i, I feel like i never even knew about it oh wow it's really ornate. Look at all that texture they got woven in there. And look we'll at some crazy hair color, hairstyles. That didn't work out so well. That's pretty great. Again with the sort of Overlapping shadows, but still. It's kind of got an extra hair color because I don't think most characters have a silver hair color. It's just have white or black usually. Well, okay, so. I'm going to go with the uh, good old classic porn stash look first. Maybe we will we'll just go for some kind of mighty man. But anyway, green brown. What is this eye color? Eyes are blue. Well, that didn't, I didn't even change it. Barely. Well, that changed it. Here's your sci fi look. It's a bit of shading weirdness going on with on his hand. But, man, that is cool. This would be, actually, that would be good for cyber armor, I guess. White? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's the porn. 
The porn stash glasses. Those are not good. Those are like the, the Sarah's glasses. And um, a couple characters have glasses like this too. These are all right. Fancy, uh, whatever you call it, sides of sunglasses. Definitely these if you wanted the porn star look, I guess. Uh, Face masks they gave characters. They're just like too small. It's like this little tiny thing floating on your face. I don't know what point that was supposed to be. But here's the porn stash. Oh, I forgot the. Oh my goodness. I suppose that could go with the Frankenstein thing. I think that's what it was for, actually. It does fix his recessed jaw, but. It over fixes it. But yeah, you would do that with the uh, Frankenstein. Man, it really, it really kind of overdid it with that. How does that not fit with the chin? That's weird. This is definitely in the running. Oh yeah, I think I had something like that going on in one of my ones before. That's pretty good. Huh. No perms. What is that? Oh, well, all right. Porn stash cannot have permed hair. Let this be spread throughout the land. That's pretty good too, but not quite in the back league. I do like these mohawks. It's just a little too plastic looking for what I'm going for here. Jeez. That could almost work. That is like, uh, what's that anime, you know, that all the kids like, over 9,000 or all that. Anyway, I think we're definitely going to have to go with, uh, Perhaps. 
almost feel like I do want some kind of snazzy armbands, but I don't know. Ah, oh, it's going through at the top of his bicep over there. Oh, oh. Just like you know, hard leather boots or something. It's strange. I guess these are kind of. Yeah, I guess that actually works. Actually, they're a little darker. See better days. Almost makes me want arm pants. 
or shoulder or elbow pads, but we look like a wrestler. I guess I don't want him to look like a wrestler. I just want him to look like a big dude. Oh, his hands are weirdly pink. Oh, there's weird pink and yellow modeling all over him. Huh. Is he supposed to look? He's got some kind of problems there. Well, I think this is it. That is about as pure porn stash as we can go. I feel like I've missed something, but I can't what that would be. Maybe one of those elbow pads or something, but no. Oh, I'm out of points. Cyber armor, probably long arm elbow pads of some kind. Those are weirdly high tech looking. Uh, elbow pads too. the cyberpunk and the, these are all cyber. Just going full cyber. That's what we're doing. Oh, but you can't combine it with the cyberpunk armbands. Oh well. I feel like I'm going to run out of points. Have cyberpunk boots. He's got these. Well, yeah, he does have cyberpunk boots. He doesn't have cyber boots. Ah. Ah. No, 
this one. Oh, why the yellow? Oh, jeez. Fringe. It's not here. Oh, ah, he looks too naked without it. Without the sure thing.
Just here with the ones there to do that. Ghost. Okay, this is where we have to bring it all together. What can we do here? Let's do something like that. That looks pretty good. Oh, that looks good actually. Wow. Whoa. Too cute now. There you go. <laughs> Just looks like the wolf is eating him. Can't quite get over that. To the hip. Frankenstein, Space Frankenstein. Oh wait, there was the, uh, oh, I forgot there was that other. Okay. 
this one. feel like a damaged cyborg would have a little tama. glowing like that? No, they aren't. They really glowed. The glow kicked in in that opening animation. Crazy space cyborg. Wrestling is the ultimate sport. Even in space. This is so cool. I don't know if I'm communicating this adequately. How cool this is. Suck it, little man. This comes to you from Uranus 7. Wait, I don't know what that means. We don't have skateboards there, we have jet boards. You won't stay on your feet when you fight me. I think the damage is to... I think our cyborg look definitely goes better with his sort of uh, aggressive attitude in a, in a more uh, magisterial 
parted long silver hair would, I suppose. But I'm still gonna try it out. I kind of wish I could get rid of the yellow on the boots, but that's a minor thing. Because I think the only other boots... Uh, there were some other white boots that kind of worked, but they weren't quite as space looking. You need maximum space look. What's that on the DP? I don't know. Just pretend we don't see that. Um, is that part of the boot? No. Hunt those. Uh, some of these. Maybe I just don't like the spikes. This, that actually works quite well with the, but the socks look a little weird. Yeah, it doesn't look quite bad. Yeah, they fur, they need warm feet in space, even cyborgs. Portrait art there, you can see the full thing on the character select screen. He looked like he had a bigger jaw. I think it wasn't quite as recessed. Might have just been mentioning that. We're not looking at it closely enough. Here now watch his suplex. his lights go on. stage bothers me. It's just weird scattered shadows and all. Just you know, all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, his attitude does not work with the uh carefully parted hair. Also, the, the weird modeling on the, the quote-unquote monstrous skin uh, definitely works with the damaged cyborg skull. So that just, that just fits a lot better. And I guess the only remaining question is, does the damaged cyborg need a little Tama? Well, probably not. I would genericize him a little bit because he's from some some other part of the galaxy. Well, it could have been that he came here and enslaved a little Tama. Where did you go? Yes. But I mean, other characters have their own little Tamas, and it just. So that's good. Let's check out the porn stash in the stars.
She's got a longer looking face in that uh, portrait art there. And those, those do seem like different renders to me, just different models entirely. It's like, uh... Can't ever picture you winning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Ready, go! Actually not, the black, you wouldn't hear me saying this too much, but the black pants are actually too black. So now I want to, I want to try the, uh, the sort of default color for these jeans, or pants. I'm number one! different people. Oh, I wanted to see what a running throw would be. There it is. Oh, it's out. Okay. Now under this lighting, the pants don't look too dark. A little on the dark side, I guess. Stay on your feet when you fight me. Yeah. Like gritting his teeth while he's saying that. It's a little strange, but it kind of worked. Does have the chest here, so it would have to be an arm tattoo. What are you waiting for? Come get some. Round one. You're a really pasty looking dude in this life. Not me though. Yes. That was fun. Yeah. 
your belt buckle. There was a more of a brown or red of that because that's kind of zippy. That's what it is basically. It would be. They not notice these boots are clipping through the floor as he animates. It's so weird. Oh, wow. Here comes my suplex. Round one. Ready? Go!
don't feel like I should try red hair. I guess wolf is normally red hair. Sword again. Space Lord. Do the one where he spins him around. Ooh. Did you say Frankenstein? Burning Hummer? I, I, I don't think I'm hearing that right. is all I can make out there. That doesn't sound right. You won't stay on your feet when you fight me. Jeez. a sort of medium size medium fence specific throw to be strong is beautiful <laughs> uh, huh I'll be darned well I feel this was a successful uh, costume session for a wolf Uh, 
So I will be playing Wolf uh, next in Virtue Fighter 4. Um, and then 10th Anniversary, which is kind of 4 Evolution. And then 5, and then back to Final Showdown, where I'll play these costumes in an actual difficulty level uh, special sparring. But I'll be doing Kumite mode in 4, and I'll be doing Quest mode in uh, 5. It's Wolf, and uh, can I learn how to actually play the classic grappler? Ooh, I guess we'll see. We shall see. I've been dreading it a little, but uh, I am I am pretty psyched about those costumes that I just got for him. So those will be waiting for me once I get back to Final Showdown. And uh, if you watched all that costume making, thank you very much. Um, and uh, maybe you look forward to more wolf things played by a horrible noob uh, coming up. <laughs>